Recently, with new clients, I shared more about my background, how I've taken training to adapt yoga for amputees, taught totally blind people, worked with various injuries and language barriers. They said, that's nice, but can you teach regular people? <laughs> I explained that I have yet to teach a class where some, if not all, of the students are in some way disabled. That injuries can happen if teachers aren't informed in different body needs, headaches, stress, back pain, to name a few. These classes are usually in high-end studios and called things like hip opening or office syndrome. Disability is a result of societal barriers and limits, that is, excluding someone, usually in a reference to cognitive, physical, and or sensory processing conditions. So then, where is the line between human adaptation and disability? When is it a tool, and when is it a medical aid? When is it society that sets those limits? Let's explore this by practicing yoga together.